And we're back. Hi. <laughs> say that creepy, Nathan. Well, I was gonna say part if you can't, but then you proved me wrong. <laughs> Shut up. Um. Yes, yeah, so I don't say anything about season six, or I'll pick your brains in. Oh, I already have. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um. Uh. Okay. If you were like transported into any of the you know recent Fallout games, which one? <sighs> and to be clear, mm -hmm. um, not as one of the characters or like as the main character, as you. I reckon I'm the New Vegas or three, to be honest. Really? Yeah. Why? Well, three because it has Megaton. Looks like a quite nice place, even though it's surrounded by a bomb. Well, a bomb surrounds it. Looks. It surrounds a bomb. Yeah. That. Yeah. Version of the words. It just looks like a, like a little nice shed Wait, town. Can I pull this? Yeah, I can. Might not beat the guy's head, and like keeps on saying, "Support the enclave." Yeah. Screw the enclave. Actually, no, because that game pissed me off because it had the true ending in a DLC. <laughs> um. So. Yeah. You but might. but it's important to note that am I on my right? Yeah, it's important to note that you won't be limited by the ways that the game is limited. Like there won't be invisible barriers. So te theoretically, you could walk from the capital wasteland to like the Commonwealth if you wanted. Okay. And like since that dude does, you know that it's possible. Do I have any sniper bullets? Yeah, you got two. I've got seven. Good shot. Imagine if you were just sitting there and just yep. one guy died and one thing exploded. It's like we're changing topic. No. I, I'm still interested in the Fallout thing. Fallout Four, I haven't discovered that much of yet, so I can't really say. Um, number three just seems a bit more interesting. It's like it's a huge open world without like feeling empty. Yeah. Like, I would love to get something strong, um, like a, um, radiation suit strong enough that I can actually go into that horribly, horribly over, um, freaking radiated zone. You know the one that you just walk in and you just instantly die because the thing just, the grads just catapult? One, four, out three. Yeah. What's that? It's one of the um, vaults. It's... Hang on, let me just get it up. Okay. High radiation vault. You can see, um, see, I'm the opposite of you. Like, four out three would be my last choice. Really? Yeah, because like. I have no control over the situation at all. Vault 87. Because in, um... Where is the tank for this? What am I... There it is! Um... Because in Fallout 3... Yeah. And I'm going to go ahead and say that, uh... Like, it, it's a little... Cheaty, but oh well. Um, we can go into the game with all of our current knowledge of it. Like, uh, we know everything that we Oh, they know before. Yeah. Really? Why? It's good cars and shit. Um, what would be yours? I want to hear this. Uh, mine would be New Vegas. Because, um, in 3, you only really have authority because you... Because you're, you know your father. Yeah. And like he's the one, one of the big movers and shakers. That's the only reason the Enclave gets interested in you. Mm -hmm. Like your history is what makes you important. Ah. It's very much similar in Fallout um, Four, because like you're the sole survivor mm -hmm. when you play the game, um, and 
Ah, uh, sorry, I think. Like, your connection with... Wait, I don't want to give you a spoiler. Um, Just do it. How... Oh, well, the le you know how your son gets kidnapped? Yeah, he's, yeah, he's the leader or something. Yeah, like, you get refrozen after that. And For fuck's sake, dude. What? Stevie wanted to see that coming. Yeah. I, I, I was honestly surprised when I first found out, because it just, I, I hadn't connected those dots. Hmm. But, um, yeah, it's, that's how it is, and, like, I, so many ladders, what am I meant to do? Uh, Apparently his appearance is procedurally generated as well, like, whatever uh, you change your character to look like, and your wife to look like, he looks like a mishmash of both. Okay, that's kind of cool. Hmm. Um, but anyway, yeah, like... A lot of the power that you have in Fallout, like, not all of it, but a lot of it in Fallout 4 is because of that. Like, mm -hmm. you can take over the Institute because yeah. that guy's your son. Like, it's different for the Minutemen and stuff, mm -hmm. but, like, that's a general thing. Mm -hmm. um, New Vegas is the one where, like, the only reason you're powerful is because you can be useful. And... You can be more useful in Fallout New Vegas than in any other one because you already know what's going on. Yeah. You know about the Securitron army. You know about how to win over each and every faction. Yeah. Like, oh, yeah. It would be very easy to get what you want done. Radiation, this is Vault 87 that I was talking about. Yeah. And high radiation. Radiation near the above ground entrance of Vault 87 is the highest in the game, as well as the entire Fallout series. Peaking out, peaking out well over 3,500 rides a second. Whoa. Which, in direct, means you'd be dead within 0 0.29 seconds. Fuck off, guy. I like the crafting system in number four, though. Yeah. How you can start off with, like, you can basically keep your starting weapon throughout the whole game if you up mm. um, upgrade. Actually, you know what? Hmm? Maybe I'd change to four. Yeah. Because, like, New Vegas would be good because, like, you'd just be like, you'd just kill... Mr. House and take over the Securitron army, and it would be really easy to do. Yeah. But in Fallout 4, you just side with the railroad and the Minutemen and take over the Institute instead of blowing it up. Mm -hmm. And. Oh God. You could. Oh, okay. There we go. <laughs> you could. You got a roofie token for that. Yeah. You could rule the Commonwealth with an Iron Fist, or New Vegas with an Iron Fist. You know what? Do you. Oh, you probably don't remember, because yeah. I don't. Um, do you actually get... Uh, how am I meant to do this? Oh, there it is. Um, oh, fucking camera. Um, does Mr. House... Because you wake up that big vault full of Securitrons. Yeah. Yeah. But, um, does that have the facilities to build more? Can't yeah, neither can I. Why did you just randomly... Check that guy. Yeah, like, I don't... I wasn't pushing in that direction. Very annoying. I guess in, in Fallout 3, there's supposed to be, like, one vault that's full of people that can only say one word. Oh, yeah, that's the... That's the vault full of Garys. Mm -hmm. they're, they're all clones of the same guy. Gary. Gary! That was creepy. Yeah. The, so, the same as the vault for the glowing ones. Oh, yeah. Is that... Three? I'm mm, pretty sure. Oh, I thought that was four. But, yeah. Yeah, mine would either be four or New Vegas. Could, just because I could take control. Mm -hmm. You know what? I think it would be four. Yeah. Cause, I'll go straight four again. Yeah, because, um... You side with the Railroad and the Minutemen... You combine their forces, take over the Institute, and then wipe out the Brotherhood, and you are the only person who matters anymore. Because mm -hmm. you can just build an army of, like, low-level sins. And, like, because the Institute's resources, like, they're super science crazy bullshit that they're doing nothing with, by the way. Mm -hmm. um, plus all the manpower of the Railroad and the Minutemen, and you're gone. I can remember, like, two days after Fallout 4 came out and people, like, tried to, like, throw out spoilers, like, everyone's a synth and all that shit. Yeah, everyone is a synth. I... I did get spoilers for that, mm -hmm. but because everyone was throwing out so many stupid spoilers, like, it didn't count. Yeah. 
Like, I didn't know what was a spoiler and what wasn't, so it didn't matter. Yeah. But there was, like, all the PC tards doing that. Now, I'm speaking in a matter of some authority here, because I do own, like, a PC that's, like, really pal. But, there's nothing worse than some of the, like, oh, PC Master Race, uh, all this shit and stuff. But well, you can game in 4K before you could. Uh, and everything's on 120p, 3 million fucking frames per second. Uh. Yeah. Like, those people that really need a good punch in the throat. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. <clears throat> Like, listen, bitch, I'm coming from a place that was, like, before fucking, like, USB cables. Yeah. Ugh, oh, life without USB. And usually it's just the young Tods that are the ones that are, like, screaming out PC Master Race. Young Tod? Is not like, a word I've ever heard before. Can I? No, I can't. Well, basically, like, millennial pricks. Yeah. And you find all the old gamers like uh, us don't really give a shit. As long as it plays a damn game, we're fine with it. Yeah, really. Like yeah. that. I just want to play a game. I don't care if it like um, renders this image in this many fucking pixels. I'm not gonna yeah. pick up anyway. Who cares? Who gives a shit? You're only gonna see it for point three of a second. Yeah, you know. That's why I like art style games where it's just like. Yeah, it's a flat surface, so it's just one pale color. There we go. It doesn't have to have like three million fucking textures on it. That's why I like cartoon style games. You just like, said that. <laughs> yeah, like Overwatch. Look at that. It's like cartoonishly styled. It's, yeah. Oh, it's not overly complex. Yeah. Like it does have some complexity to yeah. it, but yeah. very pretty. Yeah. Oh shit! This is a top dog. <laughs> Oh, Nathan. Starting early today. Um, <laughs> Thank you always. Are they all dreams dressed like fucking gimps? <laughs> yeah. What's this, guys? Um, I don't know. I didn't realize this was a top dog thing. Oh, God. And we'll find out next time. Wait, what the fuck? There's no fire there. <laughs>